Hi there and welcome to this Dreinschlag Longshot tutorial video with Gregor, Gedi and myself, Bernhard. In the next couple of videos we are going to talk about armed wrestling. Now, a question that might pop up in the head right now is, well, I have a sword. Why would I want to wrestle? It's a good question. There are several answers, so take your pick. You need to be effective at all distances. Well, if uh, you're in a sparring or in a tournament and the fight goes so for more than one round, you can drain your opponent's stamina pretty fast by taking him down and putting him into a submission or something. Good point. And last but not least, um, it's an integral part of HEMA tradition, or as the saying goes, all fencing comes from wrestling. Okay, as um, is true with most techniques actually, wrestling can be deliberate, it can be part of the game plan, you can try to set up your opponent so that you can actually go for wrestling, or it can be opportunistic. Um, we are going to talk about the more deliberate approach to wrestling in these couple of videos. So let's get to it. First, we need to clear up a few key concepts or rather key concerns regarding wrestling. Um, take a moment um, to, to consider your opponent. If you think, if you judge your opponent to be physically stronger, larger, more heavier than you, or if, it's, if he has a very, well, let's say, low center of gravity, then wrestling might not be the most effective approach. Okay, now, apart from that, another thing you have to be careful about is distance and threat management. Which means, in order to be able to actually pull off a wrestling move, obviously you have to be very close. And you have to be safe from an immediate attack of your opponents, which means you have to be in control of your opponent's sword, at least for a brief time window. Which means, for the most part, you'll have to be in a bind situation, something like this. Okay, now we have a bind situation and the first thing you'll want to make sure of is that your opponent is actually committed to the bind. You don't want an opponent who is actually going to abandon the bind at any time. If you try to go into wrestling then it's going to be very messy. So you can feel that your opponent is in a strong bind, he's actually pushing down on the blade. Then the next thing you want to make sure of is that you're in proper distance. From here, without moving his body much, Gidi can actually barely touch uh, Gregor's hands which means he is in arm wrestling distance. Arm wrestling means that's the realm of disarms and similar techniques, which we're not going to touch upon in these couple of videos. Instead, we'll focus on so-called Leibringen, which means for the most part wrestling techniques focusing on the upper torso of the opponent, which has the added benefit of being able to uh, properly control your opponent's sword arm. So enable, um, in, in order to be able to do this, Gede has to close the distance by taking a step. And now he can touch Gregor's shoulder, which is a good indicator that is close enough for proper leib bringing. Okay, thanks. Okay, now we've cleared up a few basic concepts and considerations. In the next couple of videos, we're going to show you a couple of actual techniques. We're going to walk you through the techniques step by step. So stay tuned and have fun.